1. Microsoft Office Microsoft Office is a software package that has various applications for creating documents, spreadsheets, presentations, databases, sending or receiving emails, etc. It includes applications such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Outlook, Groove, InfoPath, OneNote, Publisher. In this edition and in our later editions of this series, we made an effort to explain you in detail the MS Office applications, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Before going to learn these applications in detail, let's know their uses in brief. Microsoft Word You will be surprised to know that the page that you are reading right now has been created using a word processor. A word processor is an application that enables us to create, edit, save, and print text and graphics. The word processor allows us to do the following. Insert text anywhere in the document. Insert pictures in the document. Use a number of font styles and sizes. Apply colors to the text. Check the spellings and grammar. Print the document. We can use word processors to create documents such as letters, reports, essays, greeting cards, resumes, forms, etc. Microsoft Word is one of the most popular word processing software that has all the features of a word processor. The interface of Microsoft Word appears as shown below. Microsoft Excel Look at the adjacent table, mark sheet. The above table contains names of subjects, marks obtained and the maximum mark. A table is made up of rows, columns and cells. A cell is formed at the intersection of a row and a column. It would be boring for the teachers to manually sit and calculate the total marks obtained for all the students. This can be easily done with the spreadsheet software. A spreadsheet application allows us to do the following. Insert and edit text and numbers in the cells. Insert and delete rows and columns. Change the appearance of the data such as text and numbers in the cells. Use formulae to perform calculations. Insert charts such as bar diagrams, pie charts and many more to graphically represent the data. We can use spreadsheet application to prepare school reports, weather reports, timetables, bills, etc. Microsoft Excel is an application that comes in the Microsoft Office suite, which helps us to create spreadsheets. The interface of Microsoft Excel appears as shown below. Microsoft PowerPoint If you are about to participate in an elocution, you need to select a topic and prepare a presentation on it. Do you know what a presentation is? A presentation is a way through which you can communicate information to the audience. We should remember some points while making a presentation. They are it should not be too long. It should be simple and interesting. Information in it should be properly divided into sections. 
It should contain the introduction followed by the details and summary. Microsoft PowerPoint allows us to make our presentation more appealing and attractive by changing the size, style and font color, adding images, and animating the text and graphics. The interface of Microsoft PowerPoint appears as shown below. To open these applications on your computer, follow the path. Start button, All Programs, Microsoft Office. Now, click the application that you want to open and you will get the interface of that application. Exercise 1. Fill in the blanks. Tick if true or cross if false in the brackets. Oh no, do it again. You have won. You have won. Oh no, do it again. You have won. Three. Match the following. You have won. You have won. You have won. Four. Answer the following questions. 1. What are the uses of a word processor? Answer. The word processor allows us to do the following. Insert text anywhere in the document. Insert pictures in the document. Use a number of font styles and sizes. Apply colors to the text. Check the spellings and grammar. Print the document. 2. What does this spreadsheet application allow us to do? Answer. A spreadsheet application allows us to do the following. Insert and edit text and numbers in the cells. Insert and delete rows and columns. Change the appearance of the data such as text and numbers in the cells. Use formulae to perform calculations. Insert charts such as bar diagrams, pie charts and many more to graphically represent the data. 3. What points should we remember while making a presentation? Answer. We should remember some points while making a presentation. They are it should not be too long. It should be simple and interesting. Information in it should be properly divided into sections. It should contain the introduction followed by the details and summary. Activity No, do on a computer. Try to open the Microsoft Office application. 2. A note on 